Guys, believe me, this is a fascinating Kubernetes scenario. So, when there is a problem inside the EKS cluster, one of the nodes on the EKS cluster, especially in the memory side, the pods that are available in the memory are evicted by the kubelet, right? In this scenario, what happened was, kubelet itself got killed because of the memory uh, constraints that the node had, right? So, if you look at things, Kubernetes has two eviction policies, like which is hard eviction and soft eviction. If the node memory is less than 100 MB, Kubernetes starts doing hard eviction. And if the node memory is in between 100 MB to 200 MB, then it will do the soft eviction. In this particular use case, which Kavya wrote, right, some of the microservices started consuming so much of memory than expected and therefore node memory kept dropping and eventually what happened was kubelet got killed and then eventually carpenter killed the entire node now why did why did kubelet get killed right this is because when there is a node level memory issue linux kernel has its own out of memory killer right it will pick the process that's been running for so much long time. In this case, kubelet. Kubelet is running so much time and the system memory is, has dropped less than 100 MB. So it has to pick some processes that are causing so much trouble. right? And therefore, kubelet gets killed and then eventually the node gets marked as not, uh, node not ready. And eventually... Uh, the other Kubernetes, all the pods available in the node are sent to other pod, uh, other nodes available in the cluster. So how do you fix this scenario? Obviously, the entire thing happened because of misconfiguration inside the microservices. So the requests and limits in the services should be adjusted. And also, if you are getting into scenarios like this, you also have to adjust your hard eviction as well as soft eviction settings. These settings are usually sitting in the kubelet configuration. You can tweak them. You can also tweak your kubelet reserved memory availability. So this will make sure that your kubelet stays alive for a longer time. Right. Hope this is useful. Until next time. Bye.